Hey girlfriends, I'm Bianca Renee and you're watching Bianca Renee Today and today is part three of my rice water rinse challenge. If you are new to my channel, welcome. I hope you stick around, push that subscribe button and the bell and give this video a thumbs up. I post two new videos every week, once on Friday and once on Sunday. And you just happen to stumble upon this part three of my rice water series. If you are new, you might want to go back and watch part one and part two to get caught up so you know what's going on. In my first video, I ended up using organic brown rice. I used it all on its own, not adding anything to it. Then the next week, I used jasmine white rice, and I also added lavender oil. And then this week, I'm using normal white rice, and I added orange peels. I also took a poll on Instagram asking you how you guys want me to apply my rice water this week, and the majority of you wanted me to try it as a pre-poo. I haven't done it as a pre-poo yet. That means I'm going to be using it before my shampoo and conditioner. And then I also did a second poll asking you guys if you wanted me to use a hair mask on my wash day and the majority of you said yes. So before we get started let me show you exactly how I made today's rice water rinse. Starting off with regular white rice all you need is about one cup and I'm going to pour this one cup of rice into my strainer so that I can rinse it off and make sure that it's nice and clean. Then I'm going to grab the clean rice and add it to my mason jar. Just put it all in there and then you're going to fill up the remainder with water. To help mask the smell, we'll be using oranges this time. So it's going to cut off all the orange peels because that's all we need and then apply all the orange peels into our jar. Then you want to make sure you could seal it with the lid. Now I'm going to let this sit and ferment at least overnight and apply it tomorrow. It is now time to apply this rice water rinse. Excuse the bare face, I'm gonna take a shower, so I didn't wanna put on a full face of makeup. After 18 hours of fermentation, that is how we got to this point right here. So let's do this and see if these orange peels worked. Whew, it just smells like oranges. Thank God, this actually did make the rice water the color orange but that is very good. I have been dodging the smell every single time. So now I'm gonna use my strainer and I'm going to pour all this in here. I do wanna apply this in the shower so I can really just dunk it all over my scalp. So I'm just gonna put it in this little bottle. A squeeze bottle would have been even better. I do have a little bit left, but I am going to now hop in the shower and dunk all of this rice water rinse on my head. But before I do that, let's do a little length check from last week. Now, since I'm doing this as a pre-poo, my hair is a hot mess. Don't be frightened, but it's going to look a little crazy. This is like day seven hair, and I only co-washed last week. Like, it needs to be washed very badly. But let me just do a straight up split down the middle, that way I could be more accurate each time. And I'm going to grab this piece here and pull it straight down. So now we've officially hit that third line and it's a nice like thick amount of hair that's reaching it. Before it was like a little piece I had to like force pull down, but now there's a really good amount of hair that does reach that third line straight down. So now let me do this side. Let's see. And has also reached the third line completely. So here is where I started versus now. It used to be a little bit past the second button, but now it has completely reached the third. I also plan on keeping track of how long my hair is while it's wet. That way we're not gonna get any conflicting results because of the tangles that are in my hair. So I'm gonna do both on both sides so we can get down to the bottom of this. But that's enough talking. Let me wash this hair because I literally can't wait. So I planned to pre-poo on dry hair, but I literally got in the shower and just started getting on autopilot. And at this moment I realized that my hair was now wet, <laughs> but that's fine. Now I'm going to apply all the rice water rinse to my hair, my scalp, the lengths of my hair, and really rub it through so every strand gets some love. And this is all supposed to be so good for your scalp for hair growth and for dandruff, so give yourself a nice little scalp massage. I don't think the rice water rinse helped with detangling at all, so I just kind of focused on saturating my entire head. Then I put on a shower cap and let it sit for at least 30 minutes. After 30 minutes, I came back and this is how my hair looked. I never really noticed anything drastic about my hair instantly. It just looks, you know, 
wet. <laughs> but now I'm going to rinse it out with shampoo and conditioner. Fresh out the shower with concluding thoughts. So after I rinsed out my shampoo and conditioner, I then got out the shower and I put in a deep conditioner, let it sit for 30 minutes, and then rinsed it out. And this is how I got to this point. So right after the rice water rinse, I noticed that my hair was really hard to detangle today. I don't know if that's because I waited like seven days, so it just got really tangled, or because the rice water made my hair stronger, making it a little bit harder to detangle because it's stronger, not just weak and just falling out. But this is my shedding from this wash. This is actually more shedding than my very first start date. So I don't know, my results are all over the place. I haven't noticed an extreme difference with shedding yet and my hair length possibly has grown an inch. So let me do it one more time while my hair is wet so we can get a good length check right at that third button. And then this side pulling all the way down, almost at the third line. <laughs> it's like right there. But many people say that you see results after one full month of doing it once a week. So I said I was only gonna do three videos, but I'm gonna do one more rice water rinse to see exactly what one month of doing this will do for my hair. So leave a comment down below, let me know what you want me to do for my last rice water rinse. Do you want me to use a certain type of rice? Do you want me to add a certain type of oil? Do you want me to let it ferment for maybe 48 hours instead of 24? This is your last chance to give me all of your recommendations and then I will do one more rice water rinse video. If you're glad that I'm being your guinea pig, make sure you give me a thumbs up and subscribe. I post two new videos every week, once on Friday and once on Sunday. And make sure to follow me on Instagram at Ms. Bianca Renee. That way you get daily tips instead of having to wait until the end of the week for a YouTube video. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching Bianca Renee today.